got to be better. Um, we have to, we have to uh, be better. It's difficult because obviously we've got two clubs out there, two teams out there, one fighting for the playoffs, one, one um, um, just trying to trying to find our way in transition, trying to um, trying to uh, play a bit of a different style to what got us safe. Um, and yeah, it was nearly all good today, apart from apart from the goal. And uh, uh, yeah, it just kills you because ultimately, deep down, we all just want to win games of football. Um, and uh, yeah, in that one moment, Nelson's got to be better. And uh, um, the guy, the guy scores a good header. So uh, yeah, frustrating. The games are getting tougher, not just because obviously the championship games, but we're losing players. You know, we're at our limit. We've 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 had to go. We've, we've got. Ten injuries. We've got eight centre midfield players out. You know, we're patching everything up. We've got people that are having to go through big, big shifts. I mean, they had the luxury of probably taking this game slightly more serious than they did the Hull game. They rested a load of players, brought freshness in for today, and and look, that showed probably early on. But we dug deep. We kept a clean sheet. We defended our box and, and and converted one of the chances. And 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 that's the story of today. I was thinking worst case scenario, we we draw the game nil nil. We've we've played. We've played well. That we can always play better. Uh, we can, can create more chance. We can relax in the final third a bit more and make better decisions. And um, if we score, Joe might have knocked the stuffing out of them, and we'd uh, we'd go on. Uh, when they score, obviously it gives them that something to hold on to. Uh, exactly like they did against Nottingham Forest at the weekend. So um, yeah, I said frustration more than anything. It's the best squad I've ever seen for togetherness for following a manager for being humble for wanting to go after something and they're so humble they you know I, I can be vociferous at times I can be demanding but they, they know why um, and they just graft they work hard they, they they just want to achieve something and they know that we're overachieving for a bottom three budget I mean ours wouldn't we wouldn't be top eight budget in league one so to be able to do that and to be fourth in the championship competing against some of the absolute juggernauts that are, that are up here you know, it's 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 a wonderful story. Some really really big games like the Sheffield United and Middlesbrough ones coming up are, are huge and experiences that I've never have experienced yet. Um, so yeah, no, it'll be huge. And obviously, I think um, off the back of stuff that's happened this year, they'll be much better for it next year. And uh, as I said, with people around them who who um, <clears throat> have done it as well um, and at good ages and trying to get to where they want to get to still. Um, uh, I think it'll be it'll help them massively, and uh, as I said, we want a core group of them, but they need um, they need help. As I said right at the start, when we were talking about getting the right balance of the team, you can't expect to um, put too much pressure on them just yet.